started. As a recap, we're making these. I tell myself that the bubble gum wrapper is the sin. The mold I'm going to be using is the Trudeau Chocolate Mold. It's super cute. I'm going to go wash these and get them ready to go. And the fragrance that I've chosen is, well, I think I'm going to do two batches. I'm going to do one with candy corn and one with a candy corn hot butter popcorn mix. Um, just because, isn't that fun? <laughs> uh, let's see. I hadn't decided. Maybe I'll just, uh, yeah, that definitely smells just like candy corn on its own. But I like the idea that the popcorn scent is in there. So maybe I'll just put a touch of hot buttered popcorn and mostly candy corn. Because I, I find candy corn just kind of smells like marshmallow to me. And I want it to kind of have a corn I want it as much as it looks like corn, it isn't. <laughs> so we're going to mix these up and um, create a unique fragrance from Fragrance Buddy and Aztec for this poop creation. <laughs> we'll call it, we'll call it candy corn poop fragrance oil. Gentle soaps. <laughs> All right, so we're also going to be using a combination of deodorized cocoa butter and um, crude cocoa butter because I want it to have a little bit of that chocolate scent as well. I want it to pick up just a little bit of it. I'm not sure I'm going to use all of this, but I'm definitely going to use a little bit. I'm going to start it with half and if it's strong enough, we'll stop there. Um, if it's not, we'll add more. <laughs> so you need a really, really hard, 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 hard hard oil for uh, bath melts because you need something that's actually going to stay and not smush. It's not you can't just use a butter. But speaking of butters, we are going to be using some more of my green tea butter. Probably not all of this, but maybe we'll see. We'll see what it needs. <laughs> Alrighty, what else have we got that we're going in there? Uh, we'll be using, we'll, once we've got the batter created, we'll split it up into three different colors. Two different color colors, <laughs> and we'll make us um, well, yeah, three different colors. We we'll have yellow, orange, and white. So we're gonna stick with this little guy here. I do have little googly eyes, but I'm not. Sh I think they're too big. But if I can figure out a way to put eyes on it, I will. I do have some sugar eyes that are odd. Okay. Um. Yeah. So let's get mixing up the main batch. And uh, I'm just going to go pop these in the microwave and get them melty melty so that we can just proceed without, um, yeah. Alrighty, so we've got our mix here. Now I've got bicarb, citric acid, SLSA, and a little bit of cornstarch. I make my uh, bath melts a little more like I do my imbets with a higher citric acid ratio. I just find it's more fun. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, uh, mix this up and I'll tell you about some of the other ingredients. The green tea butter is handmade. I used actual green tea and steeped it in uh, a blend of butters. So I've got mango butter and cocoa butter uh, I think yeah, there's some obsidian oil in there. I just made it really, really exotic. I also use tallow in my butters a lot of times because tallow is really, really good for our skin. You think that um, with the, you know, the animal um, activist out there, that would be like taboo for me to do this, but. Um, I'm not a vegetarian and I believe in using the whole animal and it's actually better for my skin to use something closer to my own um, composition, which is some animal. <laughs> so the 
grass-fed tallow, which has become all the rage in the paleo um, arena, is what I've got in here as well, a small portion. So there's a blend of beautiful plant extracts and uh, gorgeous grass-fed tallow in there as well as the wonderful green tea obviously and there's some more cocoa natural cocoa butter because it kind of crumbled a little bit when I was chopping off a piece so yeah that's going to be super super fun in there too so we've got this nice and smooth now I'm going to add my fragrance now the fragrance actually ended up being a little different than what I said before I ended up using about 30 percent cane sugar from a nature's nature cane sugar cookie from nature's garden and um, 45 percent candy corn and then the balance of that was the hot buttered popcorn from Aztec and it's perfection it really really is and we're going to use a healthy dose of that because these are very tiny and we want our whole bath in fact I'm going to toss it in there and get it all get all that goodies goody goodness <laughs> Get all that goody goodness. All right. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. So this is my new blend. I am not a fragrance house, but <laughs> a signature blend, I can call it, <laughs> of my candy corn poop fragrance oil from General Soaps. Now, if you want some of it, maybe I'll make some available in my stores. So you don't have to go to three different um places to get it <laughs> but i can only offer it in like little 15 or 30 mil bottles uh because i'm just not big enough and i'm not buying in large quantities i mean you guys can you know where to get it you want to make it yourself and save some money if you're making big quantities anyway so that's my formula for the rainbow poop and i will i'm not rainbow poop candy corn poop um so let's add this goody goody and I'm okay with a few of those um, solid bits it's always nice to be able to identify what kind of butter <laughs> is in your bath so that'll be fun now we're just going to mix these and then I'll divide it into three equal portions and well mostly yellow um, and I you know it should be pretty much even. Yellow, orange, and white. And I might have to add some titanium dioxide to this to make it whiter just because I'm using some interesting oils. So let me go grab the cocoa butter. I'm going to tromp through the kitchen. You can hear me tromp, tromp, tromp. It's a very small kitchen, so... <coughs> <laughs> this is very similar to my pipeable moisturizing cocoa butter uh, recipe. Very, very similar. A lot of the same ingredients. Find a place to set this down. I've run out of room, guys. I am in the middle of a big order. And I'm literally surrounded by buckets. So I'm going to use a spoon at this point. And I'm running out of spoons, so I'm going to use my giant spoon. <laughs> and obviously, I'm going to put a little bit of calendula in there because calendula is good for this. <laughs> now, if it hardens up too much on me, I can just, oh, that is beautiful stuff, warm it up. So I'm going to be using water dispersible dyes so it doesn't um, stay in the tub. And I am going to add, well, I put SLSA in here. I don't think I need the polysorbate 80. For those of you who are sensitive to polysorbate 80, I can use surfactants instead. If you would prefer that, let me know if you're having a custom order made. We will be making a reindeer poop um, since I have this awesome mold, if all goes well. 
<laughs> later in the season. So I'm just going to do a little cleanup and grab some bowls to divide this into. Yeah, that's really good. Emulsified right away. Right off my hands. So I don't think it's going to leave the bath greasy. Of course we will test them. Never had them in the past. But... Oh, yay. Yeah. Got one, two, and then one in the pot. So the one in the pot is going to be the white one. Let's see, let me just pour this. Nope, I'm going to have to portion it out. setting up nicely. So, water dispersible guys, where are you hiding? I have you right here at my fingertips. So, let's start with, let's give you some light so you can see everything. Now, if you don't know how to make your own liquid dyes, these are made with glycerin, and they need to be shook up. There's little beauties in there. We'll just shake them both up at the same time. Yeah, it's better. Can we both get this. Ooh, that's going to be a mess to clean up. And then one drop of red, we'll see what that does. Now, this one is a mixture of different reds. So I'm going to grab some chopsticks. I love my stainless steel chopsticks. These are Korean, by the way. Let's see what we've got here. Might be more yellow. It might just be perfect. You never know. I want a nice dark orange. That's not a working. And we're not getting any darker with the dyes. Let's see if this one's going to be enough. Because again, we want bright color. I may have to get my powder colorants out. Let me get my powder colorants. And give these a nice boost. Alright. a little bit redder. That's a nice bright yellow now. Got 
some lumps in there. There's no white underneath. Now I've got an oil dispersible titanium dioxide. I'm gonna put one more drop of red in that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> titanium dioxide, which is oil soluble. So I'm just going to rinse off all of the orange and the yellow. I do not know how much this is going to take, but I want it to actually be white. So let's see. Now I'm going to heat this up just to make sure that it's fully dispersed and giving us the best whiteness. That did make a difference. It did. Look how it, yeah, baby. So let's see. fighting against the cocoa butter and the green tea colors. So if you want this perfectly white, obviously leave out the exotic oils. But I'm more concerned about um, performance than aesthetics, so if you get something a little more rustic from me that feels far more luxurious. Alright, so I like that. Let's get started. So I am going to use a 60 ml syringe to pipe this in. You can, you know, use whatever you've got. Um, you could also use a bag, probably. A little Ziploc bag. But you use what you got, right? And I've got this and I'm going to use it.
I'm going to go ahead and let these set up and then I'm going to add the next layer. Set it up a little bit. Let me see if I can clean these up. Okay, so the next color is orange. Now, I really like seeing demos, so stick around for the demo at the end. It's just going to be in a bowl unless I, you know, feel like doing a whole bath thing. I do do that. I do do that sometimes. I do perform such a service at times. Every time I said do do in my, my seminary class, my teenagers would go nuts and laugh their heads off. You do do? You do do do. <laughs> All right, so come back when I pop them out, and then we're gonna do a little demo. Okay, let's pop these babies out. I gotta find some gloves because I've been in the other room doing other stuff while these cooled off. And as soon as we finish popping these out, I'm gonna go ahead and finish with the rest of them. So let's see. 
Yes, super cuteness. And I love how shiny they are. Look at that. These are beautiful. There's one. I think I'm going to be careful to overfill rather than underfill because I like the overfilled ones, how they look better. There we go. So when you get new things to create with, you learn as you go along. And that's what's kind of fun when you come to this channel is you can learn from my mistakes because I make them. I do. I make more mistakes than I have successes, of course. Everybody does. There's always something that you would do better the next time. Always. But it's fun to go through the creative process anyway. Now I'm definitely going to get the white warmed up. I don't think I need to be quite as careful because as careful as I was, it still wasn't perfect. As long as it has the three colors, we're good. So yeah, let's just set these aside. Let me just pile them in here for now. How cool is that? Super, super cute. demo we'll have to do the demo again it's awesome I just had the bath it was fantastic uh, let's just take these little slivers here so you can watch them bubble and boil so I really don't want to have to cut another one up 
but they're foaming bath oil. The recipe is in the shop. It, it's absolutely freaking fantastic. Uh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So. So much candy corn goodness, candy corn poop goodness. <laughs> Alright, if you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe. Come on back to my soapy kitchen if you want the recipe. It is available on my website. Um, super fun, super cute. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> oh, and every time you buy a recipe, you help support me getting more supplies so I can create more stuff. So thank you. Thank you to all of my supporters. I appreciate you. I think you're awesome. And thank you. Thank you so much. Remember, you also are paying for troubleshooting. So if you have problems with any of my recipes, please, please let me know so that I can talk you through it, walk you through it, and answer any questions you might have. If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe, as I said before, and come on back to my soapy kitchen anytime. Happy Halloween! Candy corn poop emojis. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye for now.